guys. Um, so I just made the impulsive decision to cut my bangs. I decided this 20 minutes ago. I'm getting ready for a little girls night and I thought my hair has been looking really boring recently and I want to spice it up. And I haven't posted a video in forever. I know I hate myself too. I have Gabby here for emotional support because if it goes bad, it could potentially ruin my night. But that's okay. No, stay in. Yeah, that's okay. We'll stay in. It's fine. <laughs> You want to get a nice middle part to start and then I'm going to be grabbing my comb and make sure that you have a really nice middle part and I mean very nice like perfectly down the center like so usually I just do it with my nails but for the purpose of this video you know we gotta we gotta use the comb I usually don't have people just looking at me when I'm filming <laughs> and Gabby's just like this <laughs> All right, we got our middle part and I am so scared right now. I'm terrified. All right, now you want to kind of just eyeball how much hair that you want. If you want thicker bangs or if you want thinner bangs. Generally, the rule of thumb is if you have thinner hair, then you kind of want to go a little bit further back because it's going to make your bangs appear fuller. You don't want to go too far back, but it just depends how thick you want your bangs to be. This time, I'm feeling some nice thick bangs. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I want them to be juicy. I want them to be nice and thick. So you want to kind of create a triangle like so. And then I'm going to cut off like about an inch of my sideburns. I don't really want those to be cut. You see that nice part? That's what we want. You really want it to be precise. You see that, Gabby? That's how we do it here in the Fabu fam. The bottom of my part kind of ends exactly parallel to where the end of my eyebrow is. All right. Got this side. Again, see how I kind of put it right there? I'm going to cut off about an inch, put that behind my ear because I don't want to be cutting that. And then we're going to throw that bitch back. So now you guys see that I have a really nice triangle going on. And this is a big portion of my hair that I'm doing. I'm not mad about it. Tie back the rest of your hair because we don't want that to be in our way. But keep that middle part because that's important. Okay, wow. This is a big chunk of my hair that I'm about to cut off. <sighs> Quick sip. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> You don't look me in the eye. You have to look me in the eye or else it's bad luck. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna just wet this area because I feel like it's a little bit more precise, especially if your hair is frizzy or curly. Mine is super frizzy. It's just straightened right now. That's why it looks put together. Don't be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, I'm just gonna wet it because it makes it a little bit more tamed. Now you're gonna kind of eye where you want it to sit. Usually, people who want curtain bangs want it to end about like where their cheekbone is, like right about the nose. I think I'm gonna start there. Obviously better to start longer because then you can work your way up. Also now I have like a way better grip in my hand of like what hair I'm actually cutting. I'm gonna align it to my nose. Lord have mercy, baby Jesus Christ, be Do with it. me on this endeavor. I guess I'm gonna cut my hair on top of this thing. I'm using like one of these small scissors. Let's see if it's strong enough. Shit, I just realized that I'm cutting my own hair. Basically, I'm just gonna be cutting a straight line here. These scissors aren't strong enough. Do we have stronger Can scissors? Help you? Um, I'm gonna use these to actually layer the bangs, but I think I need stronger mm, scissors just I to get this hair off. Alright. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm kind of just eyeing it right now and then I'm gonna go in a straight line. I'm basically just taking my time with this because obviously I don't want this to be screwed up. I would say that that's pretty straight. So now I'm taking this side, combing it out, and this is where it's gonna get that nice short to long. So it's diagonal and then I'm going to just cut through. Okay, so now we have that like nice short to long effect. That is what we want, and I'm gonna do it to the other side. <laughs> These look so bad. Okay. Now I'm gonna you need to blow dry them. Well, I'm gonna thin out the ends too, which is fine. Regardless, it'll be fine because uh, I can. I'm gonna go make another drink. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna center the middle again. And what we want it to be looking like is the shortest in the center, and then it's gonna kind of like wing out to the ends and see how it's super thick on the ends. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissor and just 
snip the ends to kind of just make it not as thick and it's going to give it that nice like lightweight effect so i'm going to hold them kind of just how they are take my scissors diagonally and just go in and kind of just trim the ends and it's going to thin it out a bit definitely didn't use the right scissors for this so take note i recommend getting like actual hairdresser scissors this is what we're doing tonight guys we make do with what we have i committed on my instagram live you guys said do it so i'm doing it okay guys i'm gonna go wash my bangs and Style them, give them a little volume, and we'll see how they're looking. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown in a second. <laughs> Guys, I think it's gonna look better than what I'm anticipating right now. Gabby, I need your support. All right, I'm gonna dry them, and then I'm gonna use my small brush to style them. Wish me luck. <laughs> Yay! Why did I do that? These may look good, Gabby. We don't know. We don't know no, I'm stressed. until we know. Where's Am I right? <laughs> like, we could have been on our way right now, and instead I'm just... Literally destroying my hair. All right. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Where's the brush? <laughs> I wish you guys could see Gabby's parting her hair right now and the behind the camera about to do the same thing. All right, guys. I'm gonna just yeah. I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> okay, you guys, ready? Bruh. <laughs> All right. Wait, this is like kind of cute. I told you. I really thought this was gonna look like way worse. I kind of like it. Wait, let me zoom you guys out. Just a quick disclaimer. I highly recommend thinning out the end of the bangs, watching someone else's tutorial. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> They're so cute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> We got somewhere today, and we, where we got it there's, is a land of a lot of volume. Okay, guys, I'm going to style my hair with a curler, and then I'm going to give you guys a final look. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we gave it a nice style. This is the final result. What do you guys think? I actually am very surprised at how this turned out. It actually no, turned out so much good. better than I thought. This just goes to show, like, I definitely could have done it better. I didn't have the right scissors. Highly recommend better scissors than the ones that I did. Guys, by the way, this is my best friend. <laughs> I could cry. I'm obsessed with her. I definitely could have used better scissors. It would have gone a lot better, but this just goes to show. This is pretty like- I think it worked. It worked pretty well. I'm gonna be posting more pictures on my Instagram of like the more final result. Hopefully you guys can see pretty well the way it looks. Definitely gives me a lot of body and it's the nice oomph that I've been looking for my whole life. So cheers, cheers guys. This video was a success. I love you. Gabby and I made a promise to each other that I was gonna film today. So you guys can thank Gabby. Cheers You're to you, welcome. Gabby. I love you. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.